Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun 752, and this is your daily go get em. It's number 720. 720. 720. That's 360 times 2. 720. That's 360 times 2. Listen, tonight I want to talk to y'all. Wait. For September 22nd, 2016. Last day in Virgo. Virgos, y'all had a nice, y'all had a nice run. I can't front. Y'all had a nice run. It's Libra time now, though. On my scales. My scales about to get ready to do their thing. So I want to welcome y'all. Welcome y'all to the Virgo, um, to the to the Zodiac. Y'all early Vir uh, Libras that got that Virgo all stuck up in you. Y'all ain't real. Y'all ain't real. <laughs> it's like that. I just put. Anyway, listen, tonight I want to talk to y'all about taking a life. Taking someone's life. Now, I'm not talking about killing anybody. No, we're not talking about homicide or murder or, or any of those things. You can take a life while somebody is still alive, alive, well, and breathing. You know, when you, when you think about what life is, life is the way you live. Life is the way you think. Life, life is the things that you do, the way that you feel. So when you undergo really, really overhauling changes in your life, That life suffers a death, and it has been taken from you. So you can have someone take your life and give you a new life, but the old life that you used to live is behind you. I want to tell y'all something, man. Uh, I've been concealing this injury. I've had a I had an injury that I suffered a, a couple of weeks ago, and um, it has really crippled me. And um, I'm getting better. And um, I just wanted y'all to know that uh, I'm on the road to recovery. I, I messed up my wrist a couple of weeks ago, and it was sprained. And I've been concealing it. I don't know if y'all noticed in these videos, I kind of tried to keep it keep it still. But see, now I can, ah! I got to be careful. Though. I don't want to re-injure it. You know what I'm saying? Ah! Only thing about it is I still can't do push-ups. So I haven't done push-ups in two weeks, and it's killing me. But I'm getting better. I'm on a road to recovery. Look at that. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't know. Rip is getting a little. Uh, anyway. Somebody is taking your life. They have taken your life. So you, you can have your life taken from you. And you can also take someone else's life. The way that you take someone else's life is that you teach them things. You expose them things. You show them things. You change their environment. And because of their reception to whatever it is that you have shown them, exposed them to, change them. You know, you change someone's thinking. You change their life. You change the way that they feel. You've changed their life. You've taken their life. You know, once you learn the better way, once you learn how to do something, once you learn the truth about something, you can't go back to the to the lies you used to tell or the way that you used to feel. A lot of people feel like that's taking away somebody's innocence. But there is no such thing as taking away somebody's innocence. As far as I'm concerned, there isn't. You only sentence what they didn't know to death. You sentence their ignorance to death. And you rebirth them into a new life of knowledge and, they, and they'll die again and again and again and again but they'll be born reborn again and again and again and again and it's a beautiful thing man. now don't get me wrong it can be a bad thing it can be a bad thing when you believe that something was really really great that really wasn't you looked at the world through rose colored glasses <clears throat> and now you found out the truth it can devastate you you know being just like a baby comes into this world he has to come through the birth canal and it's a devastating thing you know natural childbirth when it when the child's head has to fit through the birth canal it's it's a painful thing and it's one of the reasons why babies cry when they are born. But after that process is over, then they become to live. I mean, they they um, start to live. And they become a person. 
And it's a beautiful thing. Life has a lot of things to offer. And that's why you can't stay in one place all your life, regardless of how comfortable you have made it for yourself. We talked we talked extensively the other day about changes and how the hardest thing to do is to stay the same. Well, the other part of that is <clears throat> the hardest thing to do in life, the most impossible thing to do in your life is to avoid death. You cannot avoid death. And as far as our physical shell is concerned, sure, we only die once with that. But during the course of your lifetime, you're going to die many times mentally, spiritually, emotionally. But you also get to be born again mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So think about the people who you have taken a life from. Think about the people that you have taught things to, showed people things, taken them to places that they would have never gone on their own, exposed them to things that they never heard of before or didn't think was possible. You took their life. You took their life. Now think about the people who have taken your life from you in a good way. The people who have exposed you to things, taught you to things, Taught, I mean, um, um, taught you about things, showed you, you know, uh, things, it's, uh, uh, encouraged you to read, expand your mind, taught you how to do things, work with your hands, bring out things in yourself that you didn't even know existed, things that they could see in you that you couldn't even see in yourself, encouraged you. They sentenced your low self-esteem and your low self-confidence, they sentenced that to death and rebirthed you into a life of confidence, of self, of high self-esteem. Now, of course, it can work in reverse, and you can go from a good life to, to being with somebody who abuses you, who traps you, who limits you, takes away your freedom, makes you cry all the time, makes you sad all the time, and makes you feel like you are in a woeful existence. Yeah, of course we know that you can have your life taken in that way. But that's why we ain't going there. You know, the bottom line is that you can give a life and you can take a life. But you can't get through life without doing at least one of those things. Life is a beautiful thing, y'all. It really is. It's a beautiful thing. Regardless of all of the trials and tribulations that we have to go through, regardless of the things that our people go through just because of our skin color and our existence, yeah, we have to go through all of that. But there's a reason why we persevere through all of that. We built for this. We are. Think about it. No matter what happens to us, we always make it through. We just keep Against all odds, we keep going. No matter what the oppression is, we keep going. You know, Those of us who really think that it's all good out here, that there's a such thing as equality, that there's a such thing as justice, liberty, and equality for us, those are the ones who have to have their life taken from them really has to be yanked from them. And they suffer because of that. And we probably all had to suffer a death in that vein at some point in our lives. But once again, we get to be reborn. And once we get knowledge of ourselves, knowledge of our history, knowledge of our power, knowledge of our wisdom, And we realize that having your life taken ain't a bad thing. It can be a real good thing. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, man, you can give a life, you can take a life. 
But you can't get through life without having your life taken from you. You're going to die many, many times. But you'll be reborn many, many times. And it'll be a beautiful thing. Things are going to work out for you. Because they pose to. And just because you go through hard times in your life. Hardships. Trials, tribulations. Stressful moments. Bouts with depression. You got to go through all of that. But once you come up about it, once you come up out of that kind of stuff, then you realize what a pleasure it is to be reborn and to have your life taken. But we also have to give back and take lives away that ain't working out. Speaking of working out, the Take the Fall event is this Saturday, the 24th, 24th of September. This Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the Take the Fall event. The Urban Therapy with Sun Take the Fall event. We're going on that hype. That's an adult hype. And it's the bomb. It's an adult hype. If you can bring your kids with you. You're going out in the woods. Wear some comfortable shoes, sneakers, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, that you don't mind getting dirty, messed up, and all of that. Because that's going to happen. But it is a really, really great thing, y'all. You, you can't front. Everybody loves to Take the Fall event. The thing is the truth. It's the bomb. So, y'all come on through 10 a.m. You know what I'm saying? It's a free event. This is our give back. We take a life. We take the lives of those who ain't never been on a fly-ass hike with some fly-ass people doing some fly-ass shit. West Hicken Avenue and Rittenhouse Street is where we meet. You know what I mean? For more details, hit, hit me up on Facebook or Messenger or whatever. Or go to, uh, hit me up, sun752 at AOL.com. All right? Because my website is, yeah. I'll see y'all later. Peace.